Hey guys and welcome back. Well, it's time for me to step out of my comfort zone. If you know my videos, then you know that I typically never do character modeling. And I don't do that because I have no experience in that area and I basically don't know how to, right? So this is not going to be a tutorial. This is me basically jumping off a cliff and trying something that I suck at. So if you want to have some laughs, stick around. Here we go. But guys, well, we're in uh, Rian Maya. Uh, hopefully you guys are ready. I'm not sure I am, but we'll see. Like I said, complete new experience, but nevertheless, let's uh, give it a go, okay? So I'm gonna take a polygon cube and I'm going to jump to my front view. I have my X-ray turned on. I'm gonna bring this in, F to frame it. Push this in and push this up like so. I'm gonna right click, go to, come on, go to vertex. We're gonna move this one in here. I'll move that one down there and this, come on. And this one, let's say here. Okay. Now normally I would keep all four screens open, but I wanna make sure you guys can see okay. So that's why I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna hit control E while selecting that face, hit W to push it up. So now we've got this, let's push it into about here, right click at the vertex, move that let's say here, and then we're going to go in, right click and select that face again, control E, W to move up, F to zoom in, right click go to vertex, right click this one, bring it down like so let's do that again select that face control e to extrude w to push up and right click at a vertex drag select put one here that one is there that looks fine that's a good starting point okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the modeling toolkit we're going to go to a multi-cut tool and let's go from here to here to here to here to here. And actually I'm thinking what we'll do is I'll hit control Z and go back. I'm gonna do it slightly different. I'm gonna go to injured edge loop and let's go to multiple and let's do three. The reason for that is that I'm going to change them anyway, okay? Hit Q on your keyboard, and we're gonna right click and go to vertex, drag select W to move that up here, move that up here, move that up here. Let's look and see if we still have an edge flow that kind of looks okay. All right, not too bad. And then what I wanna do is I wanna jump to the top here, and we have if we go to edge, one, two, and three edges, and I want to go to edit mesh and bevel. And as we do that, you see that we get this little opening here. I want to change that fraction a little bit. This looks about right, 0.2. Yeah, that's fine, okay? Now, with that selected, I'm going to right click and go to face, one, two, three, and four. We're gonna control E to extrude, W to pull up, and there we go. Now, if we move in here, I'm gonna move this up to basically the next uh, finger joint, if you will, and then I can go in, right click at the vertex, and start to individually manipulate these vertices. And this corner looks okay. This one I might wanna move up a little bit move this one in here that one in there and that one kind of up there move that here that there let's bring this down a bit starting to look okay and then let's go in and select the next ones one 
two, three, and four. Control E once again, W to pull out like this. to about here and again a right click vertex move that here I think that looks all right I'm going to right click at a face once again, one, two, three, and four. Control E one more time, W to move up. Yep, wrong one. And we're going to right click at a vertex. Let's move that here and here. So there's that, and then we have this thumb section, and for that, and that should be this one right here, we're going to get a face, this one right here, control E to extrude, W to pull out, like this, jump into this view right here, we're going to bring this up to about there, right click at a vertex, drag select, let's bring this up to here. And let's do here. And then we're going to hit, no, we're not going to hit G to repeat, sorry. We're going to go back. We're going to right click, select that face right there. Control E again, W to move out. After zoom in, we're going to right click go to vertex. Okay. Always nice to have this funky bug going on here that's a typical Maya thing it seems I had that happen to me more often I'm going to select that face again control E W to move out I'm going to move in I'm going to right click go to vertex drag select let's push that to about there We're getting there. Face. Control E, W to extrude again. And I'm going to right click, go to vertex, drag like this one, bring that in, kind of, like that. And then right click at a face. And W to move it again. and right click at a vertex, drag select and basically bring that in. Now we can go to multi-cut tool if you like and we can go one and two, hit enter. So now we can right click at a vertex, drag select and move that up. Just want to make sure that we have one at both ends. As you can see we have not but that's fine. Because I'll do one more. Let me just, oh, hang on, I'll do that differently. Just gonna go back, control Z, sorry about that. Uh, let's do this with an injured edge loop instead, okay? So I'm gonna do a manual and we'll do one like this. Q on a keyboard, right click vertex, drag select, hit W and move it into place, okay? So from this point of view, I'm uh, fairly happy with what it looks like. And now what we need to do is we need to right click, go to object mode, hit R, we're gonna start to push that in until we basically have uh, proportions that look slightly better. We're going to hit E to rotate. We're going to hold down J as we do so. And then we're going to hit W and we're going to move it over to this end. And this is where it gets tricky because 
some things you'll be able to see some things you will have to kind of do a guesstimate if you will okay so what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to right click at a vertex and I'm going to start to drag a bunch of these in this direction let's actually do it with the soft select I'm going to hit B on my keyboard hold down B and left click and drag to bring it down a bit and that way if I now for example select these vertices you can see how that will allow me to try to approach that shape a bit easier okay I just want an overall curve shape to it then uh, I'm gonna hit B to turn that off I'm gonna select these and I'm gonna start to bring that out and at this point I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start to do this manually okay so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna select these edges right here and then we'll take these two hit a B for soft select hold down B and left click and drag to pull it back and keep in mind that we didn't even smooth this out just yet I'm going to right click at a vertex, take this guy, hit B to turn that off, push that back in, and we're going to do the same here. We want that rounded shape at the side of the hand here, and also at the bottom. We're going to do the same at this end. starting to look like a hand then we need to go up here take these two and basically run them in a bit just keep on going and then we got our thumb here okay so we got this area that's a bit too too much hit B on your keyboard hold on B and increase that impacted area a little bit and we're just gonna kind of push that back a little and maybe even increase that area a bit okay let's do a quick preview I'm gonna hit B to turn that off hit 3 on our keyboard okay so we're starting to get there I'm gonna hit 1 to go back I'm gonna go in to insert edge loop and I'm gonna add one down here Q on my keyboard I don't need those faces down here so I'm gonna select these and get rid of them and I also want the hand not to be too flat at this end so what I'm going to do here is go in right click vertex one two and three hit B on my keyboard W to pull those out like this take this one in the middle and then take this one and take this one okay right click at object mode hit B again 3 to preview smooth starting to become a bit better not quite there yet I want to have some fingernails at this end so I'm gonna hit 1 to go back and I'm gonna right click and go to this one this one this one this one and on these I'm going to hit control E to extrude and I'm gonna tweak the offset going inwards uh, let's see uh, let's see the offset um, so let's do 0 0.05 and let's see what happens 
that's not too bad uh, I do want to tweak them a little bit uh, yeah that's fine so what we're gonna do we got that we're gonna hit control E to extrude again W to push them in just very very slightly then we're gonna hit G to repeat last command we're gonna do that offset again 0 0.01 and then we're going to hit uh, enter, control E again, and hit W, and basically, come on, one, two, three, and four. Control E again, hit W, and we're going to pull them out just so we get a little ridge on those nails. Now, it's always kind of a guess what it's going to look like when we're done. So I'm going to right click at object mode, hit three to preview smooth that's what it will look like okay now it looks a bit too round so i'm going to hit uh want to go back and what i'm going to do is add edge loops in the top so insert edge loop and what i'll do is i'll add edge loops uh, right there in the top and there and there and there Q on a keyboard, object mode, three to preview smooth. That makes them slightly too hard. So let's go back and I'll hit one. Let's go back, control Z. This is always trial and error when you do stuff like this because you're not really sure what it's gonna look like. So let's try that again. Okay, we'll go in, insert edge loop. Let's do somewhere around there. Hit Q on the keyboard, object mode, three to preview smooth. Much, much, much better. Okay. Uh, obviously you can go in and you can tweak it if you find it to be a bit too, um, too square or thick or clunky or whatever, right? Uh, so that said, let's go in here. I just want to manipulate this a bit. So we're going to go into Vertex and I'm going to select this, this, and this. Hit four on my keyboard, make sure I'm not selecting anything else back there. Five, we're going to hit B for soft select, hit W to move. And let's kind of push that in a bit and turn off B okay well basically guys this is my somewhat pathetic attempt at modeling a hand for the very first time okay so um, please leave your comments below don't be uh, too kind don't be too harsh either uh, just wanted to share this experience with you guys so let me know what you think okay and if you think it sucks, uh, I will never model a prop uh, or a character element again, <laughs> okay? Well, uh, that said, thank you guys for hanging out and uh, see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.